Let's take a moment to look at the host client. Now this is the one-to-one -one management system. So we have an IP address on that host. We can now reach that host by using an IP address in our browser. I'm not gonna go to the host we just built, but I'm gonna go to a host that uh, is in my environment that's actually a part of my infrastructure. Now you can see that it wants to go to 204 and that's my vCenter server. We're gonna stay away from the vCenter server on this time and go directly to a host in my environment. We'll look at 202. Now when I go to 202, you're gonna see that it looks incredibly like the vSphere web client, but it's not. This is actually hosted within that ESXi host that we just created. So this entire web page isn't through vCenter server at all, but that actual host. So it's loading, we're gonna get a username and password prompt. Oh, <laughs> looks like it, it caught my login from before. So what I'm gonna do is log out so we can see the, the login interface, okay? Uh, so it says username and password. The username here is not username at and then the domain like you would at vCenter server uh, when you're logging into vCenter server, but just our root password that we entered during the installation. So root and then the password, enter it again just to be sure, and then I'm gonna click login. And at the bottom you can see, at the bottom there you could have seen, that there was a link to the documentation center. So if you have any other questions about the host client, that's a good place to go. Now this looks much like our vSphere web client would for our vCenter server, but there's a little bit of a difference. We got the navigator pane and then we got the information pane. So the navigation pane, I'm trying to do the weatherman, all the way to the left, and then the information pane is right in the middle there. We don't have recent tasks, we don't have alarms, this is our one-to-one, -one, so we're directly into the host here. There's no overall management scheme. We can get as much information as we can about the hardware, our configuration. You can see we're not configured for HA. vMotion is currently not supported on this machine. We have system information. We have our performance summaries. And then we have our different CPUs, our RAM. So lots of great information right off the get-go when we've selected the host. We even have the option to reboot, shut down, refresh, all those goodies here. Notice how similar the, the, the interface is. I really like that. It allows me, uh, I don't know, it gives me a comfort level with the interface. Uh, before when I, you know, in 5.1 and 5.5, when you had to go back and forth, between the desktop, uh, the desktop client and the web client to do different things. I wasn't comfortable with that. This is a much more comfortable feel. Here I can click on virtual machines and it'll show me the virtual machines that are being utilized. As you can see here, I'm nesting uh, vHost, uh, some of my hosts, so in my lab environment. So a little bit of trickery going on. I'm hosting actual 6.5 ESXi hosts. And then we have the storage for this particular host. So any storage that's connected to this host is gonna show up here. We have adapters, devices, networking. So very, very similar to the configurations that we would see in the vSphere web client. Now we have the ability to also manage. And uh, this is where a lot of you guys are going to spend some of your time uh, licensing for one, if you're putting in a new license, uh, your hardware, you can even enable pass through here, but you know that's a later lesson. We'll cover that in a later lesson. We can look at our system management, auto start, our swap locations. Again, this is something we talk about when we go to resource allocation in a different lesson. But all these configurations allow me to monitor this host or configure this host directly from this host client.